something really f***ed up here. Imagine cruising through the vibrant landscapes of Mexico in your camper van when suddenly things take a turn for the unexpected. As we drive from Alaska to Argentina, heart pounding moments are in full supply and van life in Mexico tests us to our limits this week. I don't know if we're going to get out. Subscribe and join us for the ride with new videos every Sunday. Oh, <gasps>
Oh, this round the right way. No. Oh, you're kidding me. What? 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 Oh, we've got it the wrong way. It's fine. It doesn't really matter. We're a little bit rusty on this whole van of building stuff, but we've put the the bug screen like the wrong way. The outside is facing in, but it, it doesn't really matter because it's the same both sides. But yeah. For aesthetics purposes, it should be the other way around. <laughs> So looking at his video, his hinges come in this side, outside of the seal. Whereas maybe because ours is a European model, it goes on the inside. I don't know if there's like a difference in that. But I'm sure, we can, I'm sure we can figure that out. Okay, so if we... So, just going to... You can see there where the hinge needs to go in. Yeah, so it just needs to go... Tape it up, we can tape it up. Yeah, uh, I knew that was gonna happen. Got a little bit heavy handed with the knife and cut more than I should have, but I can fix the, the tear with this. <laughs> yes, that'll sit perfectly. Okay, so now I need to do this side. What's great about this one is that it's provided with excess, so once you've fitted it, all you do now is just trim it off. Yeah. Perfect. Rather than having to spend ages aligning it perfectly. Oh God, yeah, this is perfect. A big thank you to Bug Wall for sending this to us. As you know, Trying to fit something like this to your van is always a bit of a pain, a bit of fiddly, but this was really, really straightforward. Like, really straightforward. You have so much excess, you literally can't go wrong. Yeah. Unless you're me and you accidentally cut it by accident. <laughs> yeah. But I fixed it, it's fine. You know what, compared to our side fly screen, this lets in so much more light. The zips are really like robust as well, and you've got zips at the middle and the sides. I'm so happy with that. We can actually sit with the back doors open. Central America, here we come. Come out as bugs, no more bug astrophies. No, in not van. So, no. That's just... Oh, baby. Look. Hey, mate. Scout, it's okay. <laughs> scout. Oh, no. I don't need Scout to jump through the new fly now. No. <laughs> Come on. Oh yeah, he's going now. So yeah, even though the dogs here, they're not like the most well fed and well looked after dogs, but they follow the goat herders around. And I do think they are like either looked after partly by people in the village or by the shepherds and stuff. And he's, this guy's just eaten and he's now trotting off back to the village with another two dogs. So I love it when they do that. So they've had some food, you know they've been fed for the day, but they're not wanting to stick around the van. They've got kind of their own little lives to live which is always nice. It's when they don't want to leave you. That's that's the horrible bit. Yeah. And we all know our history with dogs that do that. One of them is sat down here next to me. Look at those storm clouds. It looks like, it's a, like the heavens are about to open, doesn't it? Ben was just like, is that blue sky? Just like over here, and we're like, no, that's just another layer of storm clouds. Yeah. It almost looked blue there, but... It is blue, but it's blue clouds. Blue clouds. Angry blue clouds. Yeah. Oh, God. This place in the middle of nowhere was the medicine that we'd needed after the last few months. Broken laptops, smoking breaks, bad mechanics, stressful borders, sleepless nights on cargo ships and long drives. All of that felt a million miles away. But just when we thought we left the chaos behind, those dark and angry clouds would bring us yet another test. It's really nice on this little headland because you can just see twinkling lights like all around. And just over there, if you can make them out, there's loads of lights and that's San Miguel de Allende and that's the town that we're gonna go and visit tomorrow. Apparently it's the heart of Mexico, one of the most beautiful towns in the entire country. Look at this. It's a little 
leg on me. Yeah. He's like, please don't take me outside. <laughs> He's like, please don't take me outside. It's too wet. Joe, it's been raining all night and I'm a bit concerned about us getting out of here, to be fair, because the ground looks a little bit soft. I don't think we'll bed in, but we might slide a little bit. God, I had to dig out the boots for the first time in months. This one actually loves the rain. She's not really that bothered by it. I mean, she is a Welsh sheepdog, so yeah, I guess so it's in her blood to enjoy the rain. This one, <laughs> scared to kids. <laughs> not. He absolutely hates it. Look. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. Bless him. <laughs> hey, hey. He, yeah. Okay, so this isn't too bad. We're just taking the dogs from the walk to drive the path out. He's sinking about that much. Yeah, you can see your footprints are sinking in. You can see how wet the ground is from here. Ooh. Oh, it was a bit slippery then. It was actually really bad. I don't know what the tyres look like, but you've left massive um, tyre tracks behind. This is where we've almost just dug in, as you can see. Left quite deep ruts in that, but Ben's just pulled it onto here, and I think the grass has kind of clean cleaned the tyres a bit. That was actually quite a lot worse than we thought. There was some deep mud. Ben has just run ahead just to kind of see what the road is like further on. We still got quite a long way on this dirt road to go. I don't know if we're gonna get out. Seriously? Yeah. It is. Straight on that bend. It's a bit... We can stay here and wait out the rain if you want. Yeah, but what if it's raining all day? Outside line Maybe. around here. Not on the grass, I'm thinking. But if we slide. Be careful because it looks quite, it's yeah, like, like bog there. obstacle is this little dip on the hill. Um, I think it looks like quite stony there. Yeah. But it looks quite boggy at the bottom so. See the road, there's the road. God, so hot in it. <sighs> Nearly there, guys. Five meters, four, three, two, one. Oh, we're back. Oh. We're out. Oh my God, I was crapping myself. That was the sketchiest bit of driving I think we've ever done. Yeah, that was, that was 
the most intense bit of driving we've put Sophia through, I'd say. Guys, give us a thumbs up for Ben's driving there. That was some of the most insane mud that we've ever driven through. We don't have a four wheel drive, just the all terrain tires. You did an absolutely Thank you, amazing job. At some point, Sophia was like on ice. It, she was just doing this she and you kept it under, under control, got us out. And that was a long, long muddy road to get through. Well done. Oh. Oh, nothing like a bit of adrenaline for breakfast. Was this the end? Far from it. Just when we thought we could breathe again, Mexico had other plans for us. After the palava of last week, we have found an RV park in the center of town here in San Miguel de Allende, saying that it looks like it's still gonna be very narrow and tight to get to even, even to get to this RV park. So, as if Ben's not done enough crazy driving today already. We're about to hit the center now, so wish us luck. The road was slick with wet cobblestones and the corners were narrow and tight. This was really not the place for a seven meter long van. Eventually we made it to the red metal entrance gate we were looking for, but this still wasn't over yet. Yeah, entrance. Turn right, 16. then your destination will be on the right. While Ben waits in the middle of the road, I'm just off camera to the right. The gate was locked and I'm ringing the bell repeatedly, but to no response. It's not long before cars get understandably impatient with us. But if we drive past and miss this gate, we don't know if we'll be able to get back to it. They haven't got a phone number. We were seconds from giving up when someone opened the gate and beckoned us inside. Done for the day. Done. Done, done, done. My heart has been pounding through my chest. Not only was it first trying to escape the muddy flat, muddy flats, the muddy plain flats of the lake, of the lake, and then driving through San Miguel de Allende. De Allende. De Allende has been stressful to say the least. That, especially in the rain on the slippery cobblestones with oh. the tiniest streets, we almost abort admission twice. And then this lovely uh, French Canadian guy who's staying here, he's not the owner or anything, he heard us ringing and he was like, come in, come in, I'll, I'll, I'll help us in. you manoeuvre in. He guided us in and we're here, there's one, two, there's a few other camper vans here. It's this little kind of tucked away little green space, there's some tennis courts here, right in the heart of San Miguel. And it's really nice, we're literally sort of a five minute walk from the centre, so it's absolutely perfect for when we go and explore. Yeah, which we don't know when that's going to be because the rain was meant to stop an hour ago and it yeah. is, if anything, getting heavier and heavier. So, we were going to go out for lunch, but I think realistically I'll have, we'll meet lunch here. Lunch inside, and, and I think we need to make me a coffee for all this driving I've done today. I can make you a coffee, that's fine. Do you want any tequila in it? Oh, hot tequila will be fine. <laughs> um, we've got some squirt juice. Oh, why would you say that? Where's my... Why? Uh, we've got some squirt juice. So I have this with some tequila later. <laughs> Shut up. We're not entirely sure what it is, but this is what we saw them put in the Cantoritos when we were in tequila. It's like a fizzy, fizzy lime drink. Get your heads out of the gutter. The rest of the day was a washout, and so we cozied up in the van. San Miguel de Allende has been voted one of the best small cities in the entire world. And as the next day dawned and brought blue skies and sunshine, we were about to discover why. <laughs> This might just be one of the nicest towns we've visited on our entire trip, or ever. It's absolutely beautiful. I literally almost missed this place. Missed it, twice. It's, it's a little door, isn't it? 
and the sexy breakfast. Okay, so we have come to the inside cafe. I saw this place on the Country Collectors video. They came here for like brunch and it looked absolutely incredible. It's just tucked away behind this little door on the street. There's like three different levels to it, I think. We're sat inside. It's full outside of Portugal, but there are a couple of patty seating areas which look really, really pretty. Food here looks absolutely incredible. We're sat right opposite the kitchen so we can see them working their magic. And we've gone for exactly the same meals that we saw Adam and Haiti have, which looked incredible. I've gone for the pulled pork with grilled cheese. I think the grilled cheese is the best in the world here. Well, it's a lot to live up to. It's a lot to live up to. I'm going to have a tomato though. Mm -hmm. Would you say that is the best grilled cheese in the world? I, I think it's the best I've ever had. I do. Mm. So I have gone for a pink chai latte and then this is the sexy Mexican breakfast. Look at that. Five hundred and fifty pesos, which is about twenty-two pound. Oh, absolutely amazing. I think this is one of the most photographed churches in Mexico. It's made of this beautiful, like rose pink stone. So apparently, the stonemason was shown a postcard of the Sagrada Familia in Barcelona, and then he built this. I mean, it does kind of look. There are similarities, aren't there? It's not quite as big, but. It's beautiful, it's like a fairy tale castle. Just opposite the church is Hardin <laughs> Shut up. Just opposite the church is Hardin Allende. It's this big green space covered in trees. It's just like a proper little hub of activity. Our French Canadian neighbour, Denis, said that there was a parade going on today and when, when none of us are hundred percent sure what time or where it's starting, but it looks like they're setting up for something here. So we might hang around for a bit and see what's going on. This is probably one of the most beautiful cities that we've ever been to. So, so beautiful. Every corner is like a picture. It's so photogenic, it's beautiful. So that was a lovely morning in town. We've just popped back to pick up these hell raisers and take them for a little stroll. I think we're gonna go and head to a viewpoint that overlooks the entire town. So just 10 minutes up the road from where we're parked is the Park Benito Juarez. Beautiful green space in the city. Perfect right walk. Right the <laughs> Sorry, there's music. There's riders. And all at once a money heard a red eye cloud, she's also arriving through the night sky. And up the cloudy draw. Yippee I A. Yippee. Yippee I O. We did think the parade was starting till later, but it sounds like it's already kicking off somewhere. Yeah, that sounds really or good. In Mexico, that just could be someone's back garden. Go, 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 go. Okay, sit. Sit. It's a wedding thing, isn't it? <laughs> through the streets with giant paper mache <laughs> models of ourselves. <laughs> Something's yeah. gone wrong. Nah. And, a, what, and a donkey. And a donkey. That was Scout like saw the donkey and he freaked right out. Scout wasn't keen on the donkey. But yeah, that wasn't a big organized parade. That was just someone's wedding. So that is Mexico in a nutshell. So you can see all over the city and then out over the plains into like the mountains beyond. I wonder if you could see the lake we've been staying at the past few days. Or we almost got stuck forever. Yeah. <laughs> I think it might be a little bit too far out, but wow. The church is so pretty from here. It's how big it is. It just towers over everything. It's like huge like pink fairy tale cake. <laughs> Well, that was one steep and sweaty way to get a viewpoint over the city. We're going to walk these guys around the park now and then we're going to go for a bit more of a fun, refined, relaxed way 
of looking out over the city for sunset. <laughs>